Hey guys, so in today's video, I'm finally gonna be doing my vanity tour slash makeup collection slash makeup storage video. So I'm gonna be showing you everything that I have in my collection, obviously, and then I'm gonna show you how I store my makeup and then my vanity. We're just gonna do like a full blown tour of it. Um, this has been a really requested video for quite a while now and I've been putting it off mainly because I really just wanted it to look perfect and like really good and all that stuff and then I realized that that's probably never going to happen like where it's actually done, you know? So yeah, there's no better time than now so I'm doing my makeup collection and IMATS is next weekend so hopefully my makeup collection will get even bigger after I go to IMATS and I hope I see some of you guys there too, that would be awesome. Oh and I did just want to share with you guys too, so this, I got all of this, uh, my vanity and everything when I moved down here to LA, which was in July of last year. Before that, I had this, this was my vanity, I don't think you can see it, but um, it's one of those Bed Bath & Beyond vanities, which I loved. I had it for like three years, I think. It's one of those like $99 ones that comes with like the little ottoman and everything. And this was actually all my makeup that I had at one time too, so it was pretty much all my mom's leftover Bare Minerals makeup. I didn't really start collecting any makeup until my first IMATS trip, which was a few years ago, um, I'm like starting to like get fuzzy on the dates because I just can't remember anymore. And that was when I would like binge all at once. So I would spend like a few hundred dollars and then I wouldn't buy anything for like the rest of the year. But back when I started my YouTube channel in like February of last year was when I really started going hammer time on buying makeup because it was like the best excuse ever. Um, to buy more makeup. So that was when I really started building my collection and then um, I'll show you everything that I have now. So I guess we're gonna go ahead and get started. Okay, so here is my vanity station uh, from afar. So I have an organizer on the left side and then I have my desk and then I have another organizer on the right and I have my Z Gallery chair and then I have a little uh ottoman type thing down there. <laughs> so I guess I'll just start with the desk. So this desk is not actually a vanity, it's a desk. It's from Z Gallery, it's their jet desk. This is what I've wanted as a vanity for as long as I've known about Z Gallery. I've always loved this desk, I love the white lacquer, I love everything about it. I did do a little bit of research before I bought it and I wished, well, I don't know. I wish that it was about four to five inches shorter because it's pretty much made for giants. And also that down there, you see where I store my cords? That uh, hurts your shins a lot, basically, when you sit down. So those are the two uh, downfalls about the desk, but everything else is awesome. And up here, I know a lot of you guys see this in the background of my videos, this little mirror I have on the wall. That is from Home Goods. I think it was a Cynthia Rowley mirror. It was a really weird purple when I bought it. And I, uh, my mother-in-law painted it for me. She spray painted it white, so that way it would look really good against gray, because gray is one of my favorite colors. And then I have my computer on my desk, the mirror right there, which is like a Conair mirror that I've had for like a hundred years. And then those flowers are from Home Goods. Those are never on my desk. I put them there just for show today. Not trying to uh, play games with you guys, but they look good, right? Okay, so in this desk, it has two separate drawers. And on this side, uh, oh, what I really like about these drawers is that they're huge. They fit like a ton of stuff in it. So this side, I put like all my non makeup y stuff, I guess. This is where I have my mouse and my keyboard for my computer, just that way it's not out on the desk because I hate having like cluttered on the desk or too much stuff on there. Um, so I have that. I have like my calendars for the next two months. I try really hard to keep those updated, but it rarely works. Um, I don't carry a wallet anymore, so I keep it in there. My notebook, makeup wipes, tape for when I do like a winged eyeliner. Then these, actually I'm going to show you guys, I use these a lot in my organizers. These are the Rubbermaid drawer organizers, and I'll put more details in the description box down below if you're curious. But I really like these because they have a lot of different sizes and they hook together on the sides, like right here. So that way they don't move individually. If they move, they move together, um, if that makes sense. It just keeps it a little bit more organized and they're always flush together so they don't get messed up all over the place. It's like really good if you have OCD when it comes to that. So that's just kind of where I keep like all my office-y kind of stuff. 
Here's John and I at Crispy's Millie party not too long ago. Oh, I also keep some candy in here just in case. Jolly Ranchers. I've pretty much eaten all of them except for watermelon and green apple because I don't like those. Okay, now this drawer on the right, this one's my fave because this one has all my stuff that I use every single day. So this is where I sit in the morning and I'll do my makeup and this is where I have everything that I know I'll for sure use every day. So I'll start over here. This is where I have my lashes. This is actually where I store them. I know that's kind of lame, but it's just an old lash case. It's plastic. I try to not hold on to them for too long, but you can see right here there's definitely like a situation going on in there. And then over here I have my Benefit makeup remover, my favorite, favorite makeup remover. I have the NYX primer, which I don't really use every day. And then I have this stuff, which I definitely never use. I don't know why that's in here, but... I'm gonna put it back because it looks good over there. I typically like to keep only like a few palettes. I don't like having too many, so these are two Z palettes that I keep in like my everyday pile. This one is just a lot of blushes that I use pretty regularly. So this is actually the Ben Nye Cameo Powder. I just recently switched it out and put it into like a sifter cup. I don't know why I didn't do it a lot sooner because the Cameo Powder comes in like a horrible package. It just does not work. It gets stuff everywhere. And then I have my uh, lip balm, the Smith's Lip Balm. Blah, 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 blah. I have my Mary Luminizer, which I use every single day. Here I have my, my Studio Fix. That's my like everyday foundation. My concealers, my MAC concealers. These ones are just like empty that just need to get squeezed out and then backups underneath it. And then I have my paint pot and then my Studio Finish Concealer. So that's stuff. I use every day and then these are some highlighting pens that I have and my Duraline gel liner from Inglot and then my brow dip brow that's the medium brown one my tweezers that I use every day some manicuring scissors for lashes and stuff this is actually my size mascara that I'm using right now just because I need to open up a new one and then these are the powders that I use every day so this is the Monica Dar it's actually I don't know what this is it's a really good highlighting powder. It's really, really bright though, so I have to use it sparingly. And then my setting powder, and then the Bare Minerals Perfecting Veil, which I like to use. These are the three LA Girl eyeliners that I use most often, so the black, dark brown, and then white. And then these two brushes, I actually have these in here because I lose them so easily in my other brush section. Uh, they're both the mini liner brush from Crown, but I use one of them for my brows, and I use one of them for, um, gel liner every once in a while. And then this is all the face brush for sh all the face brushes that I use every single day, like powder, cream, liquid, whatever it might be, highlighters. So those are like my core core brushes for my face. And then over here is like my eyeshadow brushes. And I probably have like a thousand 217 brushes. I know so many people ask like do you really like the 217 brush that much? Yes, I do. If they weren't so expensive, I would probably use like all 217 brushes because they're awesome. And I keep my brushes in my drawer. I used to have them like sitting up top like in a little acrylic organizer like everybody does with like the little beads and everything. The noise drove me absolutely crazy. So that's why I keep it in my drawer now. And I have like a weird thing with having stuff like on the desk top. I don't like having a lot of clutter up here. I like to keep it as clean as possible. So I love having my brushes in a drawer now. It's so much nicer that I don't have to see them every day and they're not just like out on display because you know, they don't get washed all the time either. So I keep it in here and these things are really cool. I got this from the container store. So I'll link that down below if I can find it, but it's just like a two part thing. One side is longer than the other and you can just, you know, put stuff in it, obviously. And then I just have like my uh, NYX jumbo pencil some primer, and then a really bad pencil sharpener. Actually, I think I'm just really bad at sharpening my pencils. I suck at it, I break them all the time. What is that? It's like a little nub. And then in here, I have other concealers that I like to have on deck, but I don't necessarily need to have, you know, in this section. So these are concealers, um, other ones to highlight or to contour with, so I keep those shades like back here, though I don't, so that way, you know, if I need them, I can reach back and grab them. But this is the same thing as this one, so I have two of those side by side for my brushes. And then this piece right here is all one unit. And this, I wanna, this actually got a long time ago. You can pretty much get this at like Target 
or TJ Maxx, Home Goods. They always have like acrylic organizer stuff on sale. I know they have this at the container store too. I think I got another one um, for another drawer. But it's just nice to keep stuff in its separate compartments. And then over here is one of those Rubbermaid organizers. It's just a larger, deeper one so I can keep bigger stuff like palettes and whatnot over there. Anyway, so this is like my go-to makeup every single day. Yada. Okay, so over on this organizer, this is actually where I have like most of the good stuff at. And this is where I allow all my clutter to be because I don't like it over there on my desk. Um, so this is where I keep most of my makeup and then obviously like all my stuff that I keep on display because I think it's cute is over here. So I'm going to show you guys everything that I keep in this section now. Okay, so this is one of my acrylic organizers that I got from LadyMoss.com and a lot of the stuff that I keep in here is stuff that I just like to have on deck, you know, just in case I might need it. In this section I have most of my eyeliners and this is mostly LA Girl ones, but I do have a couple other ones in here. I have some of the Urban Decay 24-7 pencils, which I used to love and I would wear them all the time, but uh, these ones are a lot cheaper, so now I'm wearing these and they're also amazing. So I have a ton of the LA Girl colors, and I know I showed you guys in my daily drawer that I have like black, brown, and white. Um, some of my other favorites are Aquatic. This is whenever I, you see me with like a really bright blue waterline color. This is what I'm wearing, this one right here. Um, they have silver, copper, all sorts of colors in here. Um, teal, I've worn that one in videos before, and also the purple shade. And then in this middle one, I have a lot of my lip liners. This is like a, most of my go-to or favorite lip liners. So I have a lot of the ColourPop ones. This goes with uh, most of the lip colors that I have. I also have some of my favorite MAC lip liners in here. So like Stone is one of my new favorites. And then if you guys see me wearing a nude lip liner. Most of the time it's subculture. It's like one of my favorite go-to nudes from MAC. And then over here is where I have all of my ColourPop lipsticks. This is the best way to store them pretty much is to have the backside up obviously because it has all of the colors and then the names on it as well so it doesn't really do you any good when you have them like in a drawer or something. Okay and then in this one this is like a four section one so the other one was three and this one's four. I just have some of my Morphe brushes. I haven't used any of these yet actually but I just really like the way they look. They're really pretty. They're the gunmetal collection and then in this section I have all my OCC um you know what are these? Brushes, lip brushes. I keep some Q-tips in here, and then I also have uh, some of this. This is the clindamycin phosphate topical. I actually got this from my dermatologist. I went in, not for this reason, but I went in and I had like a weird breakout on my face. I thought I had like fleas or something crazy, and he was like, no dude, it's just acne, and I was like, shut up. But anyway, he gave me this, so I use that whenever I have like really small, weird breakouts on my face with like a Q-tip or something even though I'm pretty sure it's like all straight alcohol, but whatever. And then I love this one. This is like a grayish uh, Sebastian color. Um, so I have all my lip tars. They're just really pretty. The only problem is they kind of bleed a lot and they're really bold, so that can kind of be a problem. So I also have this hair tie and um, this is really cool hair tie. It's like a nylon. It's like a pantyhose kind of texture, but uh, somebody I work with lent it to me and um, Hopefully she doesn't ask for it back because I really, really like it. So let's cross our fingers that she does not watch this video. This stuff, this is like my uh, hair lotion, I think they call it, right? Yeah, moisture lotion. These are like the only perfumes that I have. So I have the uh, Aqua de Joa. That's like the main thing that I've been using for like the past two or three years. Those are just samples, which I still haven't touched besides like my Sephora haul that I filmed not too long ago. Here in this little thingy, this is where I keep like all my extra glam glow. This is the Bright Mud, the one for your eyes. Feels really great if you're like a little hag in the morning. And then over here I have three of my glam glow masks. And then I actually keep another white one, the Super Mud, in my bathroom because that's where I do like a lot of spot treatments and I kind of live and die for that mask right now. Um, so I have these three right here, and then these are actually all backups, which I know looks a little excessive, but I have backups for all the Glam Glows. The packaging is really pretty, so I actually let it like sit out on my thing, which is crazy because normally I don't like stuff sitting out. But it looks really pretty, so I leave it there. 
I also have the Glam Glow Cleansers, which you're probably like, why is that on your desk thing in your vanity and not in your bathroom? Um, so I did use this one. This is the Super Cleanse, so it's like supposed to be like a sister to the Super Mud. That's when I got the weird little breakout on my face that I'd never had before. I don't know if I can blame it on this because I just don't know. It was around Christmas time, so who knows. If I was stressed or whatever, but I'm gonna try using this again. It did re feel really good and it also took off all my makeup So I'm gonna try it out again before I really like can give you guys a good review on it And then I also have this the thirsty cleanse 2, which I've only used like once so I can't really say much about it But this is also really pretty packaging. So, you know, I have to leave it here <laughs> Over on my little mini desk. These are all my little Kat Von D lipsticks that I swatched for you guys in a Sephora haul a few months ago I haven't worn them, but they've been sitting here very safely. This organizer is from LadyMoss.com. I think this is like a 36 or a 24 or something. And then this one is where I keep like some of my Hokari lipsticks and then some of my Kiko lipsticks up here. This organizer is actually black acrylic and this one, my sister-in-law and I actually designed that and we had it made a couple years ago. So. <laughs> This one is not for sale, but this is one that um, her and I made together. Okay, so this lipstick organizer, this is also from LadyMoss.com. Oops. And this holds 108 lip colors, and I don't have enough to fill this section right here, which I know is probably crazy. This is amazing because it keeps everything out, and you can see it, and you can see all the color names, which is awesome. Um, and then all the, you know, everything just sticks up and it looks perfect. This is like my only three Lime Crime lipsticks that I have. I have a couple of Melt ones. So these are just some kind of like random lip colors. I have two Makeup Forever black lipsticks. I have no idea why. These are all of my MAC lipsticks. I would say this one's probably one of my favorites. This is Strip Poker. Very similar to Myth, it has a little bit more color in it so you don't look quite so dead girl. I feel like I lost a lot of my MAC lipsticks. My one NARS lipstick, just so pretty. Like, did you ever know it did this? Yeah. And then here I have some of my uh, Wet n Wild lipsticks. I still think my favorite one is Cherry Bomb. Love that color. Gerard Cosmetics. Some of my NYX lip colors, Galactic. And then here I just have like some random ones. This is Kiko, Dose of Colors, Joe. And then on the top, this is actually where I have all of like my ultra favorite lip colors. So I have six of the, or five of the LA Girl glazed lip paint ones. This is Whimsical, Whisper, Elude, Tango, and I think that's Peony. I have the, a few of the Dose of Colors lip glosses. And then these ones are actually the Sephora. These are luster matte lip paints from Sephora. This one's really, really pink. I feel like I should wear more pink this year. And then in the center, this is where I have all my Lime Crime ones. So Wicked, Black Velvet, Salem, Cashmere, Pansy, and then I have some of my favorite NYX glosses. So this organizer is really cool because it keeps all of my stuff on deck whenever I need it. Okay, so here I have one of my Alex drawers. These are from Ikea, and I got the shorter ones just so I could put one on each side of my desk. And in this top drawer, this is where I keep, I don't know, I guess a hodgepodge of stuff. So over here, I have actually like my extra brushes that I think, you know, maybe I might need like on a regular basis. So like some real techniques, techniques ones. Um, so extra face brushes and then extra eyeshadow brushes. These are ones that I use on the Rizig, so I want to have them like, you know, close next door to my uh, vanity. So this is my OCC stuff, and these are some of like the, they're the cream color concentrates, but I like to call them bases because that's what I like to use them for. They're pretty much like eyeshadow bases. And then I just have like a bunch of their pigments and glitters and stuff that, uh, yeah. I don't know. And then here I just have some more lip liners. These are just liners that I could probably put in my other lip liner thing, but um, just some LA Girl and NYX liners, nothing really special. And then in here I just have some mascaras and eyeliners. And then over here I just have some extra concealers. So I have the CoverGirl one, I have the IT Cosmetics one, which I definitely recommend. It's a really good concealer. The Pro Longwear, which I don't really use often, but people really like it. And that's pretty much everything that I have in this drawer. Oops. <laughs> okay. Okay, and then in this drawer, this is where I have, like, all my complexion stuff that I don't use 
every single day. So there's a ton of Studio Fix fluid in here. I have a ton of Makeup Forever HD foundation. This is what I used when I had oily skin. And I know a lot of you guys ask me how did I get rid of my oily skin. I talked about it in my skincare video I made last summer, so quite a long time ago. But I took a prescription medication called spironolactone, and that's from my dermatologist to get rid of hormonal breakouts. It also made my skin not oily, which I know is really hard to believe, but it did. But this is the uh, foundation I used when I had oily skin. Actually, I have so many of these in here right now. I should probably throw these away, which is ridiculous. I have two new ones I've never even opened before. This is a really good foundation to use if you do have oily skin or if it's hot, humid where you live, whatever it might be. That one worked really, really well for me. And then over here I have like all my MAC highlighters. This is when I used to use MAC, like hardcore. Okay, and this next drawer, this is the one I like couldn't figure out if I wanted to do stuff by brand or by product but I decided to do it by brand. Anyway, so over here I have all my extra LA Girl stuff. Here I have my Girlactic section, so I have all these Girlactic glosses, some mascara, their liner, and then some more um, Skin Glow stuff. Now I have my NYX section. Most of this stuff was actually from the NYX Face Awards. They made like the biggest gift bag ever, so that's where a lot of this stuff came from. Okay, in this next drawer, it's another favorite drawer. So over here I have all my balm, or a lot of my balm stuff, um, stuff that I don't use every day. So I have some of the palettes, Meet Matte Nude, this is like still one of my favorite palettes that I have. Um, all cool undertone shadows. This one will be nice for summertime. Oh, Zoe, come on. Then I have all my ColourPop shadows, and Zoe loves these ones. This is actually like the only two MAC eyeshadows that I have still in their like pot thing. Uh, Prussian and Nylon. These are some of my first shadows from MAC that I bought. I like rarely use MAC shadows ever anymore. I use mostly like their skin. Here I have like all my Inglot stuff. So all like my gel liners from Inglot. And then over here I just have my Gerard Cosmetics glosses. Next I have my lash drawer. So this is where I keep all my false lashes obviously. So I'm pretty sure you guys know that I love my Coco Lashes. Coco Lashes just came out with some bottom lashes that are really pretty, really, really gorgeous. I just, I don't know. They're difficult for me. So I have a lot of 102s. This is kind of this whole section over here. And then this side is more for my Goddess Lashes. These ones are some of my favorites. And then my Soho ones, which is what I'm wearing today in this video. And then I have a lot of Oolah lashes. These ones are really pretty. I've been wearing these from time to time too. So this is where I keep um, pretty much all my palettes, actually the ones that I don't keep in my daily drawer. These ones, I did tutorials for those. I have some of the Anastasia Beverly Hills single shadows, which I love, some really pretty neutrals. Okay, so now on this side, this is the uh, west side of my desk, I have the not so exciting organizer, but up here, this is exciting. Hello, let's get you in focus, yep. Woo party. Uh, that was like the most exciting award or plaque I've ever received in my life. That was really cool, so thank you guys, because um, I owe that to you guys. Um, and then I just have some other stuff, so like my little hats. That is all the nail polish that I own. Can you believe that? Literally, that's everything. Um, I hate doing my own nails, so that's like, I literally only have like six nail polishes. I don't ever want to do my own nails again. Um, and then I'm going to show you guys what I have in my organizer, but first, there's two pugs cuddling right there. Okay, so in this first drawer, I have like skin type stuff, so cotton rounds, cotton balls. This is for Desi if you're watching this video. She loves cotton balls. This is my um, face water. This makes my face tan. You guys have seen me use that before. Oh, and here, <laughs> here's the Pope, in case anybody wants to see the Pope. Uh, 
this is probably pretty weird looking, but um, this is when John and I went to Rome. We took a tour of the Vatican and I got my grandma some stuff because she loves the Pope and I forgot to send it to her. So I need to do that. This is actually a very good reminder to send my grandma the stuff because she loves the Pope. And I should not have them in a drawer. And then in this next drawer, this is where I have like a ton of skincare type stuff. And like, I don't know, stuff like that. That's what I would call it. So I have my Vita Librata. This is self tanner lotion. Um, and then the mint. I tried it once. Uh, self tanner, like the actual lotion still freaks me out. So I don't really do it that often. But uh, this is like my shipping and receiving drawer. <laughs> Uh, no, just kidding. Not really, but this is all like my Kiko Cosmetics and WJCon. I'm not sure what that is exactly, but um, WJCon, I bought that stuff when I was in Italy. They had a store and they had some cool stuff actually. So like this was, I thought it would be like a nice eyeshadow base, so I bought it, obviously. But um, I also have a ton of the Kiko Cosmetics stuff and to be honest, I haven't opened most of it which is horrible because I spent like hundreds of dollars when I was over there I like a lot of their lip products but most of the other stuff um, like a lot of eyeliners, lip liners, um, blush I do like their blush but a lot of their shadows I haven't really touched since I have come back home it kind of sucks because I, I bought a lot of their shadows like this kind of stuff with like the fingerprint or whatever it looked really nice and it swashed really nicely, so I need to like get back into it and use some of that stuff. Plus, when I was shopping in the Kiko stores, their security was like following me like crazy, like I was trying to steal. And I was like, yo dude, I'm just trying to buy all this stuff right now, like get off my back. Super random, but uh, this is where I keep like my backup makeup wipes. This is one of those organizers that I had in my other drawer. This is like a brush roll. <laughs> and this is where I keep all my extra hair. So I have uh, the Bellamy extensions. These are the ones I bought like a year ago. I just, they don't match my hair right now because they're a little bit too beige. I have some Luxie hair. These ones are definitely too dark for me right now. And then John makes fun of me, but I store everything in Ziploc bags, like my makeup brushes when I travel. And he makes fun of me because I don't throw them away right away. And I'm like, whatever, dude, it's still a good Ziploc bag, you know? So I keep them. They're still good. Oh, and in case anybody was wondering, the movies that I watch all the time when I'm doing my makeup are these ones right here. First Wives Club, House Sitter, Lego Movie, Overboard, Sex in the City, over and over and over again. Anyway, that's pretty much the last thing I wanted to show you guys on my vanity tour. Just my favorite movies to watch while I'm doing my makeup. Okay, so that wraps up my vanity tour and my collection and storage of all my makeup. Um, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and thank you so much for watching.